Hey guys, just out in the shed tonight. Going to try out a couple of alcohol stoves I made today. One's your typical penny can. This one's a double walled. I have to say I'm completely new to this alcohol stove thing. I live in Alberta, Canada and where I go hiking there's an endless supply of firewood. I could move out in the woods and never run out. And you're probably wondering why I'd even bother with an alcohol stove. I just want to try something new for one. And sometimes when you're out hiking you want to stop for a quick meal. And usually if you have to stop, cut wood, process, and all that, you're looking at about a good hour wasted just stopping to eat. So I want to try out this uh, alcohol stove thing for a change. I think it'd also be good for stealth camping. You could cook your food without creating smoke or the smell of smoke. I think it'd also be good for uh, urban survival. You could cook your food and not create a lot of smoke and attract attention to yourself. I made a couple of pot holders. I have a thermometer for uh, measuring the boiling point. I have a small broadstone kettle. A shot glass for measuring the methyl hydrate. And I also have a cup over there with uh, tin foil and two cups of water on it. I'm just going to do some boiling tests and see how it works. So it took roughly about uh, five minutes each to boil two cups of water. I have two cups of water in this container, I have two cups of water in the kettle. This stove took a little bit to get going. So that pretty much concludes my test. As I said earlier, I'm new to this whole alcohol stove thing. I just built a couple stoves, wanted to try them out, do some boil tests. This one here has been going for 22 minutes now. Still burning. I put just about two ounces of fuel in it. I don't know if that's a fairly long time or a short time. This one burned out uh, about the 13 minute mark. This one's still going. 